today's video is a practical video in which we'll see uh, hemoglobin estimation right within hemoglobin estimation you should uh, know the principle and the procedure but along with that you should be very confident in identification of apparatus part right because you can get spots of those apparatus for example hemoglobinometer tube can be given or pipette can be given with other pipettes in spotting right and you have to identify hemoglobinometer pipette right so in this video we'll see everything now let's start so uh, when we talk about hemoglobin estimations there are various methods right one is visual color methods in which directly visualization of color gives us the concentration right so for example sahali's method so in this video we'll be explaining sahali's method by sahali's method we'll be assessing oxyhemoglobin form of hemoglobin right there is other method which is calorimetric method uh, for example drapkin method this is also called sign method hemoglobin method in which basically the blood the hemoglobin in blood is converted into cyanamide hemoglobin fine and that the solution absorbance is measured right so depending on concentration of cyanamide hemoglobin the absorbance varies and that absorbance is basically related with standard value of hemoglobin and that's how we got we get the solution uh, hemoglobin concentration value right so that is drapkin method and there are some electronic analyzers also which are uh, you'll see in casualty setup the emergency setups where number of uh, samples are very high so electronic analyzer is used in that place right so in this video we'll be talking about sahali's method only right so coming to principle of the experiment principle of sahali's method where amount of hemoglobin can be estimated by conversion of known amount of volume of blood into acid hematinin compound by addition of dilute hcl and color matched with given standard value that's how we measure uh, concentration of hemoglobin okay so principle is basically formation of a acid hematinin component because of diluting into hcl right so that's it that is the principle fine so before uh, looking for the procedure part let's see the apparatus right so sahali's kit sahali's method is basically uh, the apparatus part if you see this is hemoglobinometer box in which uh, there are these things you will get okay so one is the this is pipettes you can see as you can see this is pipette this is hemoglobinometer pipette okay this this box is comparator box fine this is hemoglobinometer tube and there is a glass stirrer fine and a dropper along with that you will get n by 10 hcl and distilled water fine so these are apparatus of sali's method now uh, you can get some spots of uh, these apparatus so some identification part because uh, this this is very easy to identify this is comparator box right so most confusing are the hemoglobinometer tube and pipette which you should know now let's see these how we, how basically we'll be identifying these so if you see pipette there'll be tubing on posterior surface here so on top there is tubing having mouthpiece this is for every pipette okay but if you see pipette of hemoglobinometer pipette so first of all there is only one marking that is 20 microliter inner side there is a capillary so a capillary reaction will be filling blood into this at 20 microliter okay there is a uh, rubber tubing here attached attachment is here okay and there is mouthpiece so this is all about hemoglobinometer pipette otherwise you can get in spotting some other wbc and rbc pipette which have a bulb on the stem here there will be dilated portion which is called bulb and that bulb have some beads glass beads inside some colorful beads okay so it is very easy to basically identify hemoglobinometer pipette from them fine so this is there is no bulb there is no dilated portion on stem there is only one marking that is 20 microliter that's it fine coming to hemoglobinometer tube as you can see these are two surface of one tube okay both are hemoglobinometer tube but on one side there is yellow marking on other side there is red color marking fine so how you'll be identifying hemoglobinometer tube that is in red color the values of percentage are given 
परसेंटेज वैल्यूज आर फ्रॉम टेन टू वन फोर्टी परसेंट ओके एंड इन येलो कलर इट्स ग्राम पर डेसीटर विच इज फ्रॉम टू टू ट्वेंटी टू ग्राम पर डेसीटर द वैल्यूज आर गिवन सो बाय जस्ट सींग दीज वैल्यूज यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई इजीली द हिमोग्लोबिनोमीटर ट्यूब ओके कमिंग टू कंपेरेटिव सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ बॉक्स हैविंग टू ऑलरेडी फिल्ड चैम्बर्स ओके ऑफ ब्राउन कलर having posterior white surface which is opaque so light can't cross easily right so this is opaque surface so the color is constant this is called standard color right if you zoom this box here then as you can see these are already filled color box okay so these are standard color right so we have to place the hemoglobinometer tube in middle of these boxes so here there is a space where we can place the hemoglobinometer tube okay so this color is being matched with the standard color so that we can that concentration matching with these colors gives us the hemoglobin concentration that's why comparator box is required we'll see in the procedure how we'll do the procedure okay what is basically use of this comparator box okay but this is all about what you can get in sport so you should be able to recognize the apparatus part coming to procedure now how will be doing that how will basically assess the estimate the concentration of hemoglobin so let uh, first of all we have to take n by 10 hcl right n by 10 hcl is taken into hemoglobinometer tube at level there are two marking okay so the lowest first marking is 10% and 2 g per deciliter so till that minimum mark the first mark okay till this level we have to fill n by 10 hcl okay next is basically this is pipette as we have seen okay so hold this pipette this mouth piece of this pipette this is rubber tubing and this is mouth piece so hold this mouth piece between the lips and keep this pipette such that the marking is facing you so you will be e easily seeing this 20 microliter fine then prick the finger using aseptic technique okay so when reasonable size of drop drop of blood is formed collect the blood keeping it horizontal so the pipette should be horizontal facing the marking toward you okay and the mouthpiece in your lips within your lips okay so you have to then draw by capillary action it will be drawn you have not to suck it so draw 20 microliter till this blood till this marking fine so there should be no air bubble and you have to wipe the extra blood from side fine don't uh, wipe it with cotton because it will otherwise with the capillary action again it will withdraw all the blood fine so you have to fill the blood there should not be any air bubble in between okay next is immediately transfer the blood to n by 10 hcl fine in the hemoglobinometer tube because we have already taken in hemoglobinometer tube and by 10 hcl so in that immediately transfer and then place the pipette into comparator box fine rinse the pipette several time and mix the blood avoid foaming so you have to be sure that you have rinsed completely the pipette part because otherwise very small concentration can change our uh, the estimation part it will give wrong value right then leave the solution for 10 minute why because the, these 10 minute are very necessary to Uh, form the acid hematinian component okay next is we have to dilute with distilled water we have to dilute the uh, the blood after 10 minute and with drop wise so you have to be very cautious about this uh, dilution part because along the stirrer you have to dilute it fine and then mix it with stirrer fine and again we you have to compare it with the standard colors next is whenever you are comparing with standard color you have to remove the stirrer basically lift the stirrer slightly above the solution fine the the stirrer should be lifted slightly above so that it will not it will be uh, the clear or precise uh, recording can be done precise uh, concentration can be estimated right and during estimation after dilution if you see the the color is basically matching the standard value so you have to be sure for some things one is you have to note this at eye level to measure the value second thing is you have to note the lower meniscus 
स्केल वैल्यू ओके सो द लाइटिंग कंडीशन शुड बी प्रॉपर एंड एट आई वैल्यू यू हैव टू मेजर एंड लोअर मैनिस्कस वैल्यू सो इफ इफ इट्स काउड लोअर साइड दैट इज लोअर मैनिस्कस राइट सो द लोअर वैल्यू इज टेकन ओके एंड यू हैव टू देन गिव इन यूनिट ग्राम पर डेसिलीटर फाइन सो इन मेल फोर्टीन टू एटीन ग्राम पर डेसिलीटर इज द नॉर्मल वैल्यू एंड इन फीमेल ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन ग्राम पर डेसिलीटर इज द नॉर्मल वैल्यू दैट्स हाउ वी एस्टिमेट हिमोग्लोबिन देर आर सम प्रिकॉशंस Uh, during this procedure, don't squeeze the finger because tissue fluid can come and uh, it can give the wrong value, right? Don't use cotton or filter to wipe excess blood because it can withdraw the blood and obviously that will give wrong value, right? Immediately transfer the blood to the tube uh, because clotting can occur. So these are some other precautions which we haven't discussed in procedure. Okay, so that's all about hemoglobin concentration. i hope the idea is clear the sporting part is clear to everyone thank you so much for watching my video and if you like it please subscribe